All right, y'all, this is a southern toad, a member of the true toad family. Now, you might be asking yourself, what's the difference between a toad and a frog? What is a true toad? Or you might already know, or you just don't care. Well, regardless of where you stand, I'm going to explain it anyway, because talking about the nuances of amphibian taxonomy simply brings me joy. Now, the first and most apparent difference between toads and frogs is the presence of the paratoid gland, which secretes poisons and is located behind the eye. Toads also have dry, warty skin and shorter legs for hopping shorter distances, as opposed to their long-legged, far-leaping, moist-skinned, and wart-free counterparts, the frogs. Southern toads can be distinguished by their high cranial crests on the back of their heads. They are often mistaken for the Fowler's toads, which lack the cranial crest and generally have three or more warts per spot, whereas southern toads tend to have three or less warts per spot. The southern toad, like most toads, are nocturnal, spending their time under rocks, logs, or in burrows, which they excavate with spade-like protuberances on each of their hind legs. I put emphasis on this term because almost every description I've read describes their little foot shovels as such, and I for one think that they could come up with a more creative term. As is the case with most prey species, this toad has horizontal pupils which evolved to give them a wider field of vision in order to scan for predators, whereas predators generally have thin vertical slits or cat-eyed pupils used to focus in on prey. Now here is another cool thing these guys do for defense. If you touch them, they will flatten themselves out towards the ground and puff up their bodies. As a defense mechanism, most toads will simply pee on you when you attempt to handle them. While some might think this is gross, you have to put yourself in their shoes. Imagine you're hopping around, minding your own business, trying to catch a nice tasty fly, and some gargantuan hairless ape decides to pick you up and start messing with you. You don't know if you're about to get eaten or not, so you just pee yourself. And I guess pray that the predator does not have a pee fetish. The southern toad is often found in abundance throughout most of the southeast, and while it is listed as least concern according to the IUCN, the invasive cane toad is beginning to outcompete and displace the species in parts of Florida. During the night, especially after a nice rain, these toads will emerge and feed on literally, literally, anything they can catch with their sticky tongue and manage to swallow.